Application Examples The A3 may be configured to start and stop output based on the status of a remote contact closure loop. The loop may be non-powered or powered by 6 to 30 volts DC. Connect the two contact closure loop wires to the lead wires labeled Input Remote located in the junction box. Enter the Input Setup menu and configure the contact input setting to either stop the pump output when the contact closes or start the pump output when the contact closes. Exit the menu system. Use the front panel select run mode button to select the operating mode of choice. Press the start button. Note that the display indicates standby. Depending on the contact input setting, the pump will either start or stop when the circuit is closed. Using the A3 pulse input mode of operation, the A3 can be used to dispense chemical as required from a remote contact closure switch. The switch may be a non-powered contact closure type or a powered loop with a maximum power rating of 115 volts AC at 1 amp. Connect a two-conductor signal wire from the remote switch to the red and white lead wires located in the A3 junction box. Input the desired pump output percent of motor speed during batch dispensing. For example, if the desired dispensing rate is 1,155 milliliters per minute and the A3's maximum output rate is 2,100 milliliters per minute, then pump's motor speed during the batch should be set at 55%. Next, determine the seconds of pump run time required to inject the desired amount of chemical. For example, if the desired amount of chemical per batch is 29 milliliters and the pump is set to output at a rate of 1,155 milliliters per minute, then the pump on time per batch should be set for 1.5 seconds. Now we can configure the pump's pulse input mode of operation. Enter the input setup menu and select pulse input. Input the number of input pulses desired to trigger a batch. Input 55% for the percentage of motor speed during the batch. Input 1.5 seconds for the amount of pump on time per batch. Exit the menu system. Press the front panel select run mode button until the pulse input mode is selected. Press the start button. When the required number of input pulses is received, the pump will initiate the batch. The A3 output may be controlled remotely by a powered loop milliamp signal. Four values must be input to create a pump output versus input value slope. Connect the two milliamp input wires to the unlabeled lead wire bundle located in the junction box. The blue lead wire is the positive connection. The black lead wire is the negative connection. Enter the input setup menu. Then the input modes menu and then select 4 to 20 milliamp input. Input a milliamp value to define a low point on the slope. Input the percentage of motor speed required at the low milliamp value. Input a second milliamp value to define a high point on the slope. Input the percentage of motor speed required at the high milliamp value. Note that the pump output may be either maximum or minimum at either the high or low milliamp value. Exit the menu system.
Use the front panel select run mode button to select the 4 to 20 milliamp input operating mode. Press the start button. As the 4 to 20 milliamp input signal changes, the pump's output will change as configured. To view the incoming milliamp signal value, press the right arrow button. The A3 output may be controlled remotely by a frequency input signal from a paddle wheel or turbine type flow meter. The input signal may be either a digital hall effect type or an AC sine wave type in the range of 1 to 1000 Hz. Four values must be input to create a pump output versus input frequency value slope. If using a hall effect type signal, connect the three input signal wires to the red plus 15 volts DC, white signal, and black DC negative lead wires located in the junction box. If using an AC sine wave type signal, connect the two input signal wires to the lead wires labeled white signal and black DC negative located in the junction box. Enter the input setup menu. Then the input mode menu and then select frequency input. Input a frequency value to define a low frequency point on the slope. Note that this value is usually zero. Input the percentage of motor speed required at the low frequency value. Note that this value is also usually zero. Input a frequency value to define a high point on the slope. Input the percentage of motor speed required at the high frequency value. Note that the pump output may be either maximum or minimum at either the high or low frequency value. Exit the menu system. Use the front panel mode button to select the frequency input operating mode. Press the start button. As the meter's output frequency changes, the pump's output will change as configured. To view the incoming frequency signal value, press the right arrow button. In a chloramine system, chlorine and ammonia are injected at a ratio of approximately 5 to 1. Using the A3's 4 to 20 milliamp analog output signal, or the 0 to 1000 hertz digital frequency output signal, a primary A3 pump can be used to drive a second A3 pump in direct proportion to itself. In this way, should the primary chlorine pump fail to inject, the secondary ammonium pump will automatically stop. Four output signal values must be configured in the primary chlorine pump, and four input signal values must be configured in the secondary ammonia pump. Connect a two-conductor signal wire to the lead wires labeled output 4 to 20 milliamp, located in the junction box of the primary pump. Connect the other end of the signal wire to the blue and black input signal wires located in the junction box of the secondary pump. First we'll configure the primary pump's output signal. Enter the output setup menu of the primary pump. Select signal output, then select 4 to 20 milliamp signal output. Input the value of zero for the percentage of speed at the low milliamp value. Input a milliamp value of four to define a low point on the slope. Input the value of 100 for the percentage of speed required at the high milliamp value. Input a milliamp value of 20 to define a high point on the slope. Exit the menu system. Use the front panel mode button to select the required operating mode for the primary chlorine pump. 
Now we'll configure the secondary pump's input signal. Enter the input setup menu. Then the input modes menu. And then select 4 to 20 milliamp input. Input a milliamp value of 4 to define a low point on the slope. Input the value of 0 for the percentage of speed required at the low milliamp value. Input a milliamp value of 20 to define a high point on the slope. Input the value of 20 for the output percentage of speed required at the high milliamp value. Note that to achieve a 5 to 1 ratio, this value must be one-fifth of the motor speed in the primary pump. Exit the menu system. Use the front panel mode button to select the 4 to 20 milliamp signal input operating mode. When the primary pump is injecting chlorine, the secondary pump will inject ammonia at a ratio of 1 to 5. To view the incoming milliamp signal value from the primary pump, press the right arrow button.